Hi everybody, I am so excited to share with you the new mini album that I have just completed today using the Graphic 45 Cottage Life Collection. I have used almost the entire collection for this mini album, so it has lots of different products from the collection. And as you will see, there's a lot of different things on the front cover. There are chipboard pieces on the spine, even stickers on the back, and some of the new Graphic 45 ribbon. So this mini album is actually going to be for sale in my Etsy shop, as well as the tutorial for how to make this album. So you can check those out in the description box below. There will be links for both of those. So this mini album measures six and three quarters by nine inches. It has a two and three quarter inch spine. The pages are six and a quarter by eight and a quarter inches. And there are four pocket pages inside of the album. So to get into this album, it does have a ribbon closure just to keep everything closed. And on the front cover, pull these up. On the front cover here, we have the first set of elements. So it has a ribbon closure with one of the chipboard pieces here. It opens up with photo mats already in the album. This is matted for 116 photos. So we've got two photos there. We've got a photo mat and these pieces are popped up so a photo will slide underneath of them. And then we have a little photo booklet here that has photo space. The back is plain. You could put another photo here to put even more photos in the album if 116 isn't quite enough. On the first page of the album, we have a pocket on the front of the page it has two photo mats. So the first photo mat has one of the journaling cards and I've used my Graphic 45 metal corner die just to be able to pop this journal card up so that I can put a photo behind it, but also journal on the card itself. So all of the pages will have one large and one small journal card and they will all be removable like this using those photo corners. And then this one also has room for photos. Again, these are lifted up so the photo will go behind it. We've got this one here. And then that mat and the front, these two hold this closed. So these open up, there are room for four photos here. And then the journaling card, again, it is removable. You could also place another photo here. Again, if you needed more room for photos, there are some other options. These mats do hold this closed. And then this unties to have a photo spread here and then a mat that pulls out of the pocket at the top. On the sides and between each page, there is a large photo mat. It is matted the same way. The papers change, but it has two photos on the front, two photos on the back. It has a ribbon pull just so that it makes it a little easier to get them out of the pockets. Flipping over to the next page, we see a band that's magnetized, has a piece of chipboard here, and then it's a side waterfall, room for six photos there. And behind the waterfall is a photo mat that pulls out, again, one of those journaling cards that does pop up, so there is room for a photo behind it. And on the back side, there is the second journaling card here, and then room for a photo. On page number three, this is a sliding closure and then it comes off. Two flaps flip up for photos, two flaps flip to the side for photos, and under the belly band there is a large photo mat. Again, that journaling card does come up. There's a photo space behind it. On the back side, room for a photo and then that journaling card there. This closure has a magnet that holds it into place, but it has these little tabs so that when you put this on, it slides onto the page so you can put it on the page and then you just slide it up between the flaps and it will hit the magnet and stay closed. Again, in the side pocket, there is a large photo mat with room for four photos.
On the next page, we have a photo booklet that's held underneath the belly band and this chipboard piece, it holds these closed. So there is another one of those journaling cards that is removable to write on and place a photo underneath. And then we have room for three photos inside, more journaling. Backside is blank. You could put more photos on the back if you wanted to. These doors flip open, room for two photos here, and then they flip open again, room for two more photos. And then these flaps just hold the photo mats in place. And so right now I just have three photo mats here, so room for six four by six photos. On this page, there's another one of those journaling cards. Again, there's a photo spot underneath of it. It's held closed with a ribbon closure. It flips up, then there's room for another photo here. The sticker, I just have the journaling card tucked behind it, so you can have some journaling there. And then here we have two flaps, but the flaps are actually pockets. So there's a photo mat in each of the pockets. And then on the back side of the pockets, there's room for more photos, and then there's a photo spread in the center. In the pocket, another larger photo mat that has room for four photos. On the next page, we have a belly band that is a pocket, so it holds a large card that has room for three photos. Again, room on the back if you wanna put more there. It tucks behind this belly band. The belly band is then magnetized, so this whole entire flap is magnetized. It opens up, so there is room here for a journaling card. You can place a photo underneath of it. Two small photos here, and then this, flips open. Here's the large journaling card. Again, it does come out and there's room for journaling in a photo. Two photos here. Then this flips again. There's room for a large photo here. And then in the pocket, there are two photo mats. On the next page, there is a magnetic closure using one of the chipboard pieces. It flips down and this is a double waterfall, so it holds 10 photos here. And then at the bottom, I have the large and small journaling card tucked together in these decorative corners. Large pocket, again, holds the photo mat with four photos. On the last page, we have another one of the journaling cards. Again, it is removable, photo slips behind it. This will open up, it is a booklet for two photos. And then it is actually a belly band as well. So there is room to tuck a photo mat or multiple if you wanted to put more behind this. So with a green band is a belly band. And then there's a pocket in the back of the page it holds two photo mats. There's the other small journaling card, so lots of room for photos and for journaling. And then on the back cover mirrors the front cover. So we've got these doors that are flaps that open. There's the chipboard piece held in closed with the ribbons. Room for two photos on the flaps. And then in the pocket, we have a small photo booklet for photos and then a photo mat to place more photos. These pockets will hold more photo mats as well. So if you needed more space, you could always add more mats to those pockets too. So like I said at the beginning of the video, there is a tutorial for making this album in my Etsy shop. So you can check that out in the description box below. And there is also going to be a link to this actual album here. So if you are interested in purchasing this specific album that I have made, 
you can go to my Etsy shop and check it out as well. Thank you for watching and have a great day.